Oh, hi, I'm glad you're here. So listen, I need to talk about sci-fi for a sec. We're having a bit of a moment with sci-fi. I mean, this is also the moment. And I match the book again. Wow, not intentional, I promise. I wanna to talk to you about some of the sci-fi that I've been loving because I feel like we're really in this wonderful plethora of new sci-fi. So let's talk about it. If you have not read Nettie Okorafor yet, she's a legend and you really gotta get on this. This is now a finished duology. So if you are typically someone who doesn't wanna start a series until it's finished, I got one for you. Also, if you haven't read Noor, which is a fantastic novella, highly recommend it. It has deserts, it has mechanical body parts, it has figuring out how you feel about society's reactions to you. Really good. If you're going with a classic, you gotta talk about Douglas Adams, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Fantastic. This series, I'm gonna put the cover designer below, but wow, I was immediately drawn in by the covers and the stories are so good. And there's a new one coming out in December, so you're definitely gonna wanna get on this. This is a translated collection of short stories by Bora Chung that really blew me away. I love a short story author that can immediately immerse you in whatever environment you're in, even if it's totally out of this world, literally. This was so good and haunting. If you're into sci-fi horror, like my friends who were into Womb City over here, you definitely have to read this. I was at a bookstore up in Vermont and I found this book by someone who recommended a lot of the same books that I typically read. So of course I'm going to trust them. And then there's a new book. So if you're really into Murderbot, and yes, I said Murderbot, but Murderbot has a conscience and the conscience is, I wanna binge Netflix and chill in my room and not talk to anybody which is a whole vibe. This is a series that you have to dig into. I would also be remiss to not mention Octavia Butler, but I have not read her yet. This and Wild Seed have been on my TBR. So if you could give me your recommendations on why I should read those, I would be forever grateful. Sincerely, your lovely local bookseller. This came out March 19th and I started it March 20th. Within the first two chapters, I'm obsessed. I am already so immersed in why this character is on this ship, what they are running from, why they are running from it, what are they running towards, and all of the interpersonal relationships that are on this ship. I'm obsessed. Firefly? Yes. Speaking of Firefly, there's a book that's coming out that I read already. It's called Ocean's Godori. It's fantastic. Another Firefly-esque, but really focusing on the relationships of the people on board. It's political. It's fantastical. It is high stakes. Really, really good. I would also be remiss if I did not talk about the Wayfarer series by Becky Chambers. I've not read book three yet because I'm really saving the last two so that I have something to look forward to always. Becky does a phenomenal job of humanizing the aliens that are part of this ship and I truly wish that I could be on the Wayfarer just to be an observer or maybe even hang out with the cook. He seems like a pretty cool alien dude. So here are some of my sci-fi recs and some of my sci-fi hopefuls. And I would love to hear about your sci-fi loves because there aren't a ton of sci-fi readers here. And I would really love to meet some of you who are in our RJ community. So comment below with your favorites. I hope I'll see you at the bookstore soon.